yeah so uh so yeah you can do that uh so cypress currently has support for uh for uh chrome uh chromium based browsers so you can test anything that uses chromium in the background so that's google chrome that's microsoft edge that's uh, brave browser and and uh, and a couple of others uh, it also has support for Firefox and for all like Canary uh, Firefox version and uh, coming in in version 10.3 I believe no don't remember is the support for uh, for WebKit which is the base of Safari browser it's basically Safari but minus the the Siri integration and and to touch ID and and stuff like that. Uh, so you can you can definitely perform that. My only advice here would be uh, to to make sure that uh, that it's it is done in a, in a reasonable way, because with Cypress you're not really testing the uh, the browser you are testing your application. So if you want to check the compatibility with different browsers, I think uh, you might want to uh, you might not really want to like run. 100 tests in Chrome and then run the, all of those uh, 100 tests in Safari and then those 100 tests in Firefox, etc. Uh, I don't believe this is this is very effective. Uh, I would much rather try to focus on the on the risk of what different browse risks that different browsers uh, bring to the to the application, as well as trying to look at the at the amount of users. Um, Using that uh, that browser, so you can you can sort of uh, uh, do the testing really wisely and focus on the biggest risk areas instead of like doing it everything at a, at a very high cost and a lower lower benefit. So uh, just felt like I needed to add that to the to the cross browser testing.